Okay, now I'd like to show you the Liquify tool. The Liquify tool is very cool, very funny, but you have to handle it with care. Because with the Liquify tool, you can also destroy pixels and you can make a picture better. So take care with the Liquify tool. I duplicate this layer and I go into the filter Liquify. And I think before you work with the Liquify tool for a job, you have to play around with the Liquify tool. I can't explain you the whole Liquify tool right now. I'd just like to show you my tools, what I use when I do liquefying. If you like to learn this liquefy tool, do a self shot of yourself, of your own face, buy a bottle of wine, sit down, relax, and liquefy your own face. That's very, very funny, and you will learn it very fast. But the most important thing is not the bottle of wine. The most important thing is that you do liquefy on your own face. Because when you do that on your own face, you can learn it much better because you know your own face very good. Okay, that's for practicing. Now I'd like to show you my way when I use the liquefy tool. What I use is the push left tool. That's my favorite tool. Of course, you can choose some other tools, but I prefer working with the push left tool. The brush pressure here, I set it to about 10. And the brush size depends on the part what I like to liquefy. With the push left tool, yeah, it's a little bit freaky. If you click in the picture, move to the left, all goes down. If you move to the right, all goes up. If you move up, all goes left. If you move down, all goes right. That's crazy. But you can move the part in every direction, and that's very cool. See? Okay. If you like to restore all, just click here on that button, and then you can start again. So what I like to do is I like to fix her hairs a little bit, her ears, the eyes, the eyebrows, and the chin. That's what I like to do. So I start with a pressure of 10, the brush size for this picture about 500, and then I make her chin a little bit more like that. I lower the pressure to 7, and now I like to fix her hairs, the form of the hairs, like it more round here, a little bit like that. You can also reduce the size of the brush and then you can fix this part of the hairs like that. Okay, now the ears. The ears are too big, so I'll make them a little bit smaller. And you see, with the push left tool, you can do that with one click. I click here and then I move down in one part. That's pretty cool. Okay. Now the eyebrows. And a little bit maybe her nose. You can zoom in here. I like to make her nose a little bit more like that. A little bit smaller. And like that. OK. Then I click OK. And that was not the most important part. The most important part right now is that you better do not click the before after. Because when you now click the before after, you will get the feeling that you did too much. Better go away from your computer, drink something, take a shower or something else. Go back and then decide for yourself, is it too much or not? But not click the before after. Because when you click the before after, look at that. Oh no, I did too much. I can't do that. No, I can't do that. Oh yes, you can do that. No problem. 
somebody who do not know the original file will not notice your changes. I promise, I tried that. I was on a meeting with many, many photographers and I showed one of them the Liquify tool. There was a model right in the room. I take a picture of the model and the model has a very, very, excuse me, fat face. And I made her face a little bit thinner. And then I showed the photographers the before after by clicking before after. And the model said, yeah, that's funny, that's funny, but that's not me. And I said, yeah, that's not you, but it's not important in advertising if that's you or not. You have to create a face what is perfect. Then a photographer joined the group and the photographer didn't know what was the before and what was the after. And then the photographer said, when he was sawing my before after by clicking, then he said, ah, oh, yeah, bad retouching. I hate Photoshop. Why did you make this girl's face so fat? Ouch. He didn't know what was the original file and what not. So I showed him the original file, the fat face, and then the other. Oh, oh, try it. Try it at home, make a picture of your friend or someone else, choose the Liquify tool, have fun with it, and then show your friend the picture. And I promise, if you do not too much, if you do something like that, your friend will not know what you did. But for you, it's very important, don't click the before after too often, okay? Better do not click the before after.